हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ब्रॉडकास्ट स्वागत है आप सभी का होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी गुड सो बैंक पेंशनर्स की तरफ से अनदर अपडेट दैट इज बीइंग रेफर टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया क्या है पूरा अपडेट उसको यहां पे डिस्कस करेंगे सो यूनियन वांट चेंजेस इन द वेलफेयर स्कीम्स क्या है लेट्स स्टार्ट सो काइंडली शेयर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट अमंग अदर रिस्पेक्टेड सीनियर्स एंड आप हमें वित्तीय सहायता भी दोस्तों कर सकते हैं बाय क्लिकिंग द ज्वाइन बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो स्टार्ट करते हैं यहां पे सो so, यहां पे मैं एक डेटा यहां पे एनालिसिस कर रहा था व्यूअर्स का सो मोस्ट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स मेनी ऑफ द फ्रेंड्स आर फ्रॉम द फॉरेन आल्सो दे आर वाचिंग अस मेनली फ्रॉम द यूएस एंड अदर कंट्रीज सो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड डेटा सो 27th 27th अप्रैल की अपडेट है ऑल इंडिया बैंक पेंशनर्स एंड रिटायरीज कॉन्फेडरेशन की तरफ से टू श्री विवेक जोशी जी आईएएस सेक्रेटरी क्या है इंपॉर्टेंट uh, जो अपडेट है दैट इज दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस स्कीम के जो इंपॉर्टेंट यहां पे एक रेकमेंडेशंस काइंड यहां पे इन्होंने सजेस्ट करे हैं कैसे-कैसे उसको हम कम कर सकते हैं प्रीमियम्स को वी हैव बीन टेकिंग अप द इशू ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग अ मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस स्कीम फॉर बैंक पेंशनर्स एंड रिटायरीज as a welfare mayor by meeting the cost out of staff welfare fund in terms of letter dated 24th february 12 written by dfs to iba and banks so it is well known to you that while evolving the medical insurance scheme the iba has deviated from the mandate of dfs which desired iba to evolve a scheme both for serving and retired employees by utilizing the funds in staff welfare funds as per the understanding in the year 2015 but in as much as for the serving employees the banks were advised to bear the premium the retired employees were asked to bear the premium so that's the difference here so banks ko yahan pe premium bear karna tha it was not only against the advice of dfs but it is also burden the retirees with exorbitant premium which started at the rate of 7499 in 1516 and touched 17000 for the current year so vast majority of retirees have opted out because of the unaffordability so in this connection we submit the following for your kind and sympathetic consideration the entire premium should be borne by the banks preferably by combining both the policies for serving and retired employees it may help in bringing down the rates of premium for our members even exempting insurance premium from gst would lead to a reduced amount of premium so it is pertinent to mention that insurance in itself does not give any service unless the hospitalization treatment actually take place so in such a event actually the gst wherever applicable is payable on a hospital bills it thus leads to double taxation so subjecting the senior citizen to double levy of gst is highly unfair and harsh the senior citizen deserves a better and kinder treatment at the hands of government iba and banks second the rate of contribution to staff welfare fund should be calculated on the wo operating profit ko hone chahiye ye to kafi der se chal raha hai because net profit sometimes dosto kam hi hota hai operating profit is always high and banks operating profit to rehta hi hai तो ये भी होना चाहिए अ पोर्शन ऑफ स्टाफ वेलफेयर फंड एट द रेट ऑफ 25 परसेंट वॉज अ मार्क फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ रिटायरीज इन द ईयर टू जीरो ट्वेल्व वेन रेशियो ऑफ सर्विंग एंड रिटायर्ड एम्प्लॉय सेवेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव बट टूडे जो रेशियो है वो दोस्तों चेंज हो चुकी है सो दिस कॉल फॉर रीफिक्सिंग द रेशियो फॉर अ पोर्शन द स्टाफ वेलफेयर फंड एट लीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट फॉर द रिटायरीज so it will thus help banks to a uh, fully meet the cost of insurance premium for the retirees too iba should explore the possibility of changing the existing scheme with a scheme as prevailing in state bank of india iba government should take initiative to rationalize at least the health care mayor for all the bank retirees on humanitarian grounds please introduce a scheme like cgsh after collecting one time contribution from the retirees so some of the psu like bell and even the privatized air india have a hospitalization 
medical scheme for retirees when where in a one time contribution is made by the retirees for a life long health cover from the company so we request you to evolve such a scheme for the retirees of the banking industry within the next few days we will be submitting a detailed report to iba on gm isr and request you to apply your mind and consider the suggestions objectively so that it helps the bank pensioners and retirees with comprehensive medical and health scheme so last but not the least we request you to involve the bank retirees and pensioners organizations in the resolution process as the principal stakeholders obviously principal stakeholders who have so with this that's all for this session so kindly share the update subscribe to the channel for the latest banking pension and related news